in this video, we'll be uh, introducing mechanics. So, in mechanics, there are two types of quantities. Um, one type is a vector quantity. Um, this has both magnitude and direction. And as the name suggests, it can be written or expressed as uh, a vector, like in an xy plane. Okay, where its size is the hypotenuse of that triangle there. Um, so the way of finding the hypotenuse is just you doing this using a good old formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared and then finding c the square root of a squared plus b squared equals c squared oh sorry a squared plus b squared you're just using y squared or x squared and y squared and that's the magnitude okay and then the second quantity is a scalar um, this is only has magnitude or only has size In order to simplify the world, we usually use quite a few assumptions in order to do this. Otherwise, there's a lot of uncertainty in your answers and things. So, I'm going to outline some of these for you. Um, Alright, so one thing that's used in mechanic or can be used is strings. Okay best handwriting, sorry about that, um, and we assume that they have negligible mass, which means in calculations, um, well the mass of the string isn't included, and uh, they are, well they are known as being light, and that means they have negligible mass. Um, the second thing is they're inextensible. That's a long word, but it just means it can't be stretched out any longer, and it's like totally taut. Second thing that oh, sorry about that. Second thing that we use or can feature in mechanics are pulleys. Um, so. We, for these, we assume there is no friction, well these are usually used with strings, or are always used with strings, and we always assume that there is no friction between the pulley and the string. Okay, the object that is being moved, um, you know, a force is acting upon it. The o the object in question um, we always assume they are particles. So this means um, they have no size, but do have their mass. They retain their mass. And then the last thing that we usually like to do, um, when an object's moving, uh, in real life at least, there are always air resistant forces, resistive forces including air resistance. But for mechanics, we just pretend it doesn't exist basically. It always occurs in a vacuum I guess. Diagrams are integral to doing mechanics. So, in mechanics, we usually like to draw diagrams. And, uh, however, it can be confusing with all the types of quantities that you can.
have. So I'm going to show you the arrow convention. When drawing diagrams, um, force forces are represented by a pointed arrow with a a white fill, I suppose. Momentum is the same shape, however it is black and filled in. Acceleration, oh just to clarify these are all uh, vector quantities. Acceleration an arrow with two separate heads, two spiky heads. Velocity is just probably the, your bog standard arrow. That's a classic one. And displacement, this is this is probably the most exciting. It's got a curve in it. Um, and that has a shape like this sort the curves in and it's also filled in. It has a curve in it, so quite wacky.